highly controversial censured health sermon on the medical decision, a.k.a. the stick. I can't say the name, family, but you should know what I'm talking about. I'm going to give a detailed update on it, along with a step by step protocol on how to detox from it, including how to restore your DNA. Attendees will also receive a physical copy of my signed exemption form for adults and children. This will not be live streamed. Space is limited. Everlasting Life Vegan Restaurant, Capitol Heights, Maryland. Everlasting Life Vegan Restaurant, Capitol Heights, Maryland, Saturday, this Saturday, March 25th, 2023, 6 p.m. start time. Get your tickets now at theministerofwellness.com. Very exclusive event. No live streaming. I'm sorry. Theministerofwellness.com under healing services. Theministerofwellness.com under healing services. If you're within six hours, you need to be there. If you if you live within six hours of Everlasting Life Vegan Restaurant in Capitol Heights, Maryland, you need to make the sacrifice and come. Theministerofwellness.com under healing services. 888-847-8026. 888-847-8026. All right. Um, interesting story here from Brother Will Pearson on the Facebook group. You all can still post your health topics and articles or submit them to the email support at the minister of wellness.com. But here we have a husband left his wife because she refused to cut her beard. She has some hormone issues going on. Okay, she suddenly grew a mustache and a beard and now feels empowered and refuses to shave it off. But the scriptures say that a wife is supposed to submit to the husband and everything in the Lord. And so if you growing, if you whatever you did that got you growing a beard and if your husband asks you to shave it off and cut it off. Then, you know, why, why would you think that it's that it's okay to disobey your husband when the body says that our bodies are not our own. We were brought with a price. Okay. And our bodies don't belong to each other. When, once, once we get married, they need that. That goes vice versa. Also, you know, husband just can't sit there, snort cracking hair and do whatever he wants to his body because then that can get passed. Then that gets passed on to the wife. And then it's the same, it's the same thing. But but definitely in this situation, I mean, you know, you that, that you just can't do that. You just can't sit there and, and just and look and, and refuse to shave full blown facial hair that's making you look like your husband. You can't do that. That's just no excuse for that. But she's from India and I don't and I, I, they got they have some strange ways over there. I, I am not familiar with Indian customs and hinduism but i know there's some strange stuff that be going on uh over there in india a few years into their marriage her appearance began to change and he fled now he fled because of her disobedience and her refusing to submit to his authority as the head of the marriage to not look like a man then she said after he left she spiraled into depression but she sought help and came to accept her facial hair since embracing her appearance, she has turned her hand to forming alongside with her brothers. Disgusting. She sought help for a stinging feeling of rejection and turned to spirituality. <laughs> oh, man, we have too much of that in the church these days. And that that is more of an epidemic with women than it is with men. Where you you suffering from you making all these poor decisions and you suffering from all sorts of traumas and, re, and rebelling against the authority of your husbands, rebelling against the authority of the most high. And then you run to some spiritual center. Speaking in tongues on Sunday, MFing and cussing people out on Monday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I'm saying and the reason why I'm saying that is not is not because because I'm not talking about the fact that well well me and a more spiritual more holy we're not what I'm saying is that 
this hypocrisy of what I'm, what I'm saying. I mean, just look in the churches. You look in churches of any religion and it's going to be filled with a bunch of women. That's just the way it is. I even have a book written by a doggone Catholic priest and he's looking at it saying, why is why are the churches mostly women? And they go over to explain why that is. So this woman grows a beard looking like a man. Husband tells her to cut it off, shave it off. And she refuses it. He leaves. And then she turns to spirituality. That's ridiculous. And I'm just saying that that's far too common, even within the black community. All right. Women growing thick, dark hair on areas that are that they usually are known to, such as the face, neck, chest of thighs is called hirsutism hirsutism the NHS advises seeing a gynecologist if this is a problem for you as a treatable as a treatable medical condition could be behind it and is linked to androgens a group of hormones the most common cause behind atypical hair growth is polycystic ovarian syndrome which I have a video on this can also cause acne in the regular periods. One more rare causes of hirsutism may be the use of certain medicines and anabolic steroids. Elsewhere, other hormonal conditions like Cushing syndrome and acromegaly may be to blame. The National Health Society also lists a tumor affecting hormone levels as a possible cause. So it's hormone imbalance. Hormone imbalance. And hormone imbalance is primarily caused by the satanic American diet. It can be primarily caused by the satanic American diet. Okay, so I don't, I mean, she's overweight. And so when you're overweight, it throws your hormone, especially when you're overweight because you're eating that toxic, they, they pump these animals, these tortured, murdered animals you're addicted to. They pump them with tons of, of, of sex hormones. That throws the hormones out of balance. And when the hormones are thrown out of balance, it's masculating the women and feminizing the men. So all she had to do is she would have just been willing to submit to her husband's authority. And then they could have found solutions to this and they could have helped restore her hormones. I have a video on polycystic ovary. I have a video on all women health conditions. You go on your all fruits. And you get in that gym and exercise and get that fat and get release your body from them sex hormones. And it could have returned her back to her original state or to her perfected state as a woman. But if you're rebellious and you're disobedient and hard headed and you just don't like authority, then you'll just sit there and be looking, looking ugly and stupid like what she decided to look like. So the fruits, the all fruit kill, it is the way. That you keep your hormones balanced, uh, male and female. And so I, I believe I do have to do a video on low testosterone in men. So I'll do a video on low testosterone in men because, again, we have it. We have the same situation on the flip side with men. I just seen a video from a holistic practitioner about how the, the shrinking of the male penis has is is continuing. Tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow is the last day, brothers and sisters. And the end obesity 23 sale is ending March 22nd, 2023. It's ending 50% off and very rare. Do I do free priority shipping End obesity 23 is the promo code End obesity 23 is the promo code bowel movement assist DHA EPA vitamin C superfood powder with probiotics vitamin B12 vitamin D3 vitamin K2 plus resveratrol zinc the lose 100 pounds in 100 days book fat loss herbal extract biblical principles book and the weight loss package the minister of wellness.com the minister of wellness.com click the link in the pinned comment section that'll take you directly to what you need to stock up on or call 888-847-8026, 888-847-8026. You know, we know that they have sex hormones that can turn male frogs into female frogs. These, this is some sick, twisted, disgusting mess that we see going on. But what I'm saying is that there is still solutions. There are still solutions. And our job is to do the best we can not to embrace the abnormal. 
So what this woman did, what she decided to do is just flat out an abomination. And those around her supporting what she did, that they're wrong. They're absolutely wrong. Study all the information in the description box, brothers and sisters. Everything in that description box is for your good. It's for your edification. Study it. Get your parasite detox cleanser so you can be disease free in 23. If what you need is on back order, we're getting a fresh shipment in. We're getting a fresh shipment in so it'll get to you quickly. As long as you order now, you'll even if it's on back order, you'll get it relatively quickly, much faster than the listed time. So get what you need before it ends tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs>